and welcome back to my channel. My name is Andy Buzzer and this is Buzz About Cricket. Today's video is an extension of the video that I posted last week with Ben Ellis, the overseas player that I had over for Expo Cricket Club this year. Uh, the, the structure and the, the concept of the session wasn't to work on too many technical aspects of Ben, but more about just getting bat on ball, finding a bit of confidence before he went back to play for Adelaide University. The, that video I'm going to put in the, uh, the comments below, in, in the description below below um, please do though put a comment and if you are down there press that subscribe button uh, like I said though this video is a great way and it shows a great interaction between a coach and a player not worrying too much about uh, what's right and what's wrong but more about just getting him in a really good place But you didn't sneak off this year, did you? No, a couple of drops short. But not, there was no... No good balls. Yeah, there was nothing, there was nothing that you went after. Nah, no, no. It was actually, it was more... The dismissals that confused me were the ones when you went out here and you were trying to work it yeah. leg side. And then you just kind of, you almost just walked through it. So. Yeah. That one's closer to the stumps than the first one. Mm. I just don't think... You're not scoring, you're not scoring a run there. Wait, are you looking to hit that square? Uh, so if it, say it was a little bit shorter, or a little bit fuller, would you be looking easy to hit that mid-width? Like I think it's... Pay, I, I like, if it's any fuller, I like to play a lot straighter. Yeah. Shorter, yeah, you can play square. As, as soon as this opens up, as soon as that goes, the chances of you hitting that line, unless the ball's really moved full, is very hard. And even if you are, from there, you are then, because you've isolated that, so it's just you and just for your hand playing. Yeah, hold. Hold, 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 hold. So you think that last one looking too square? I just don't think, I think that, that's probably hitting top the, top of the top of the bales. Uh, I think it, it, it's probably a touch straighter than that. So I just don't think, in, ter in terms of the, the shot, I don't think you're going to score anything. I just think you could be stood there right in behind. Ooh. 
right, Joe. Good hand, great hand. And that's why you need to just stay that side there a bit. Good. I will kind of go sort of like batting six, seven, one day up. Yeah. Try and rotate. Yeah. Rotate it a little bit. Good. That's the one, that's the one where for someone of your size, I just think everything there is just a little bit soft. Yeah, so just be, be, have it in your head. As soon as someone's in that area for you, bang, put it away. Really put it away. You were, and the bats come, the bats come across slightly, but your head's in a great position. Yeah, I tried the pants on it, but I felt like it was like that. The real, mate, the reality is, the reality is, if your head's here, all right, and your hands are naturally coming through the ball, That's you know, you wouldn't want to hit it anywhere else. You wouldn't want to hit it any cleaner. So. Again, if you're positive, yeah. you can drive that. I think now you're playing the ball a touch later, yeah. you get you do get away with that. And like you're saying, you're batting seven or eight, that's probably gone third slip, because no one's gonna be there. it on it's because it's a, a proper half on it you know Be powerful. Be positive. Good. 
so there you go guys again like I said the the idea wasn't too much about changing too much of his game but actually a bit of reassurance that the ideas that he was uh, thinking about and what he was going to look to do when he goes back to, to Australia were correct I think sometimes as coaches we like to jump too much in it and, and try and put too much input into a player and we forget at times that it is the player's responsibility to know their game and it is the coach's responsibility to kind of uh, give a selection or, or an idea of things that they can try and it might work or it might not. If you've liked that video, do press that like button and I do so say please subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content. Uh, there's going to be a lot more tutorial based stuff coming over the winter and I'm really looking forward to, to getting it out there. Uh, my name is Andy Buzzer, this is Buzz About Cricket, always always back yourself, catch you next time.